and a live look outside right now. We do have uh, overall though some cloud cover still across the area and we continue looking at some cloudy skies. It's not really that warm today, which at least some good news. This tropical wave is giving us a break in those temperatures, but we will start to see some more of that rain popping up, although so far it's just been scattered. That's all I'm expecting for the rest of the afternoon. It's 81 degrees now. We got to the mid 80s early before that last batch of rain came in. 2.74 and we'll continue to watch that number climb up a little bit higher, indicating the extra mugginess we have in the air. It's as warm as 87 from Bogalusa and Slidell here in Louisiana over in Gulfport, Mississippi, though up to 88 degrees now. And as you'll see here basically for this afternoon, we're looking at that tropical wave moving across our area now, sparking off scattered showers and thunderstorms with some heavy rain at times and flooding. Yeah, it's possible today. So far, the rain hasn't been overly heavy, but we still could see some downpours coming on in all the way through Monday with rain totals anywhere from two to four inches from the North Shore down to the South Shore and the coastline. Highest amounts expected to be closer to the coast as we go through the afternoon, only about a 40 as much as 60% chance for some rain out there. So these storms will remain on the scattered side as temperatures stay in the mid 80s. So nothing too, too widespread, which we didn't expect it to be in the first place anyway. But there's our tropical wave moving on in upper level low sitting over the Gulf of Mexico. As you'll see here in a second, it looks kind of impressive on the satellite, but it's an upper level low, not a surface low. Now, if it was a surface low, we'd have maybe concerns for possible development from that. And I'm not seeing that developing, which is good news, but the system itself can help lead to some heavier rain. Right now, though, nothing too significant here in town. Things are fairly dry on live radar. The strongest storms at the moment are heading to Ponchatoula and Hammond. A little bit of some rain for you in Mandeville, but you can see there's the Hammond area down I-55 to Ponchatoula. Batch of heavier rain coming in. Could see maybe some tropical funnels with this. We see a little funnel and doesn't touch down, but just kind of hangs in the cloud there. This system did or this storm did produce a water spot over part of Lake Moripa earlier today, but right now bringing heavy rain to Hammond to Ponchatoula. So watch out for some street flooding issues for you. Light rain showers from Mandeville, Lacombe area back to near Slidell area, but here in the CBD after a few sprinkles about an hour ago, things are starting to quiet down just a little bit here in town, but off our coastline. That's where some more thunderstorms are developing as that wave works its way northward. You can see a big cluster of clouds here along with some thunderstorms. Another vantage point here. This is a infrared satellite showing cold cloud tops, which is the white color. And while we're seeing a lot of thunderstorms here looking at water vapor, you can see where Things are moisture wise and low pressure systems from the mid levels of the atmosphere to the upper levels and right there. Notice the wind stream sparkling circling around. That is where we are looking for that low pressure to possibly form there or not form. It is formed, but again, aloft, not at the surface. That'll work its way northward here toward the Sabine River and then kind of work its way across the Louisiana coastline heading into Saturday and Sunday. So the deep tropical moisture tied in with it will continue streaming up from the Gulf all the way to Southern Gulf and Caribbean all the way through the weekend as well into early on Monday and it'll keep that threat for some heavy rain in. So you'll see not much this model shaking by three o'clock this afternoon, but as we get to four or five o'clock, heading on into about nine o'clock tonight. Again, scattered storms could produce some heavy downpours out there. They kind of taper off to a few showers by tomorrow morning. So watch out for a little rain to start off the day. Heading on into tomorrow, still looking at some scattered storms throughout the afternoon, but notice the variety is not widespread. It's scattered, but any one of these could produce some pretty good downpours. Rain totals about a half an inch to an inch on the North Shore, one to three inches here across the metro area, and three to five inches potentially down along the coastline. That's where the heaviest rain totals could be. This is over the next three days, so we'll continue watching that with a marginal risk of excessive rainfall south of New Orleans today, but it does include the New Orleans area tomorrow, so we need to keep an eye on any storms that do develop that could be efficient rainfall producers. Now, aside from that, though, we are watching a wave out here in the Atlantic Ocean. This is a pretty good chance the way the like, satellite presentation looks, though. Now at 20%, I'd venture to say that'll go up when the new update comes in. Also, another wave there across parts of the Florida Pan or just off the Florida Panhandle. That has a high chance of development at 70% over the next five days. Neither one of these are expected to impact us, which is good news. And of course, tropical depression Chantal there in the North Atlantic. That's not expected to do anything, just kind of dissipate over the next couple of days. Chance of rain 60 to 70% through Sunday. Again, some rain could be heavy. Watch out for those downpours as we could see a few areas of street flooding from time to time. Dave, thank you. And this